Welcome back to the Easy as ABC series. My name is Doug McCutcheon. I'm a senior product manager for Microsoft, working in the Office 365 business. Today, I am rejoined by Eric Geltz. Hi, Eric. Tell people about yourself again. Hello again. Uh, my name is Eric Geltz. I'm a product marketing manager on the US Office team focused on active usage and deployment of Office. So Eric, we're here today to talk about the Learning Center. Can you tell me a bit about the Learning Center, please? Sure, Doug. Well, you remember we were talking about the Success Center and how it's aligned around those scenarios. Yep. Um, you're going to find the same thing in the Learning Center. The only difference here is that the Learning Center is focused on the end users. And what you'll find is a learning path for each of those workloads and scenarios. And I think what the partner will really like about this is they can use those learning paths as a basis for a broader training program. Um, the other benefit is that um, it provides a self-discovery resource that the partner can deliver to those customers um, beyond the, the standard training program they might deliver. So just, just to clarify, we've yeah. started off with the Customer Success Center, yeah. and we indicated some high value usage scenarios, which we've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, we've moved through to Fast Track, which is aligned to deployment methodology around those scenarios, and now we're talking about user adoption, which basically expands out to the user community and gives those partners and customers those assets. That's exactly right. Yeah, this is really focused on the end user usage and deployment scenarios. Marvelous. Let's go and have a look at those assets now then. Sounds great. Great. This is the Office 365 Learning Center. The first thing you'll see here is resources for the end user to sign in and get started with Office 365. The second thing that you see is the scenarios that we saw on the Success Center. And the third thing that you'll see is additional resources for the end user to get familiar with Office 365. So if we double click into one of these scenarios that we talked about earlier, what you'll see is a learning path on the key things that we really want the end user to focus on, how this is useful to the partner is, as we said, they can use this to build out a more comprehensive set of training resources. So I think you can see that we've created a series of aligned assets of high value for both customers and partners. Customers can see and establish the value of their Office 365 subscription today, partners can align to the messaging that we're providing and work through right to the end user adoption. And in this case, we were focusing on the learning of the users and moving forward. I can imagine where a partner not only uses this in the adoption process, but also as part of their support uh, service for the customer. So moving forward, Eric, what would you say the call to action regarding the learning assets will be? Sure, again, just go and familiarize yourself with the resources that are available in the Learning Center and particularly around the scenario-based approach that Microsoft is really aligning behind. Great. Well, I would like to thank you all for your time and taking to watch these videos. We want to hear your commentary on the Yammer social networks, and we look forward to meeting you in person at our events. Thank you very much.